Hey guys, welcome back to a diary of a mama bilingue. I'm not even gonna pretend like I have my life together. These are our Christmas decor storage boxes out there that have been sitting out there for a couple weeks. Um, yeah, these are supposed to be relatable, so I am not gonna manicure them um, as much as I can. Obviously, I will probably edit out bloopers because just to keep it flowing easily, but when it comes to real life, It'll just be real life. So last week we had talked about my daughter who is almost seven. She's in first grade in a monolingual English school and how when she was in kindergarten, um, she was learning how to decode, um, how to read, just simple like blending um, words and vow or, um, consonants and vowels and putting them together and um, decoding words and how when she was going through that in kindergarten um, challenging her with doing it in Spanish was not something that was intimidating to her or discouraging to her because she was working on the same skill in both languages but since then now in first grade her automaticity so like the speed at which she can just decode and read in english is so much faster and it comes so much more easily and fluently for her because she does it at school all day long and that's what she's being instructed academically on um and i have noticed recently that um that skill like the automaticity like decoding real quick in spanish and being able to read more flu fluently is not it's kind of fallen behind a little bit we haven't worked on it as much and so because she's a highly sensitive soul um i can just tell that it's an experience that does not feel um that feels hard uh, emotionally and uh, psychologically. Whereas like with my middle son, it would probably just be no big deal. So personality does have, um, does play a lot into things. Let me move this picture frame because my husband probably doesn't want to be in this. Okay, so I have reached out to a few experts, bioliteracy experts um, in our community, and um, I have encouraged them to jump in in the comments on here and share some of the resources. And I've decided that the first step that I need to work on with her is just, well, first understanding that in Spanish, when we read, we read we decode mostly syllables like syllable chunks whereas like in english when you read for the most part you are it's it's just different you learn how to read differently in each language um and so i decided that the first thing i want to do with her is just kind of build confidence and automaticity with um syllables and then combining um two syllables together simple so i have um, decided to get this resource right here. I will put it somewhere in here so you can see it because it arrives tomorrow so I can't show it to you in real person in real life. Um, I decided to invest in it because um, it will help me with her reading skills in Spanish and then I can also use it in speech therapy um, as a speech pathologist so it's a resource that I can use throughout my career so it was a good, good investment. Um, I was going to say I could also technically use it with my two other sons but I'm really hoping that they go to a Spanish immersion school and they learn how to read and write um, at school and I won't have to spend too 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 much time or use too many resources to support their reading and writing. Um, in Spanish as much as my, as my daughter who goes to a monolingual English school. So that's my first step, building her like automaticity and confidence in reading syllables and then combining two syllables together. And then my second step is to make it really fun. So I bought, again, I bought it and I invested in it and I'll link it below um, because this helps me 
also in speech therapy so even though it's pricey for me um i think that it's a good investment so i got this resource right here and so let me see i will try to record it overhead so you can see what it looks like so i got that and then the last thing i'm gonna encourage her with is these little books that i am about to laminate and um they're just very simple they focus on one sound um they're not designed for reading they're designed for speech therapy but i think that once she gets the idea that you read by syllables for the most part and that you put those syllables together to form words um, I think that at this level um, of these little booklets, I think she'll feel like she can be challenged, but do it um, successfully. And so I'm going to have her read those to her brothers who are younger. And I think she would really love that. She loves to be in that role of big sister and helping them and reading to them. So I think that that's what we're going to do for now and then i'll keep you posted on how that goes and anything else we do i do have i was i was sent um more advanced level um reading uh passages in spanish for her by um, amanda over at spanishcurriculum.com and so i will eventually share those with you but right now i think they're beyond her skill level i think she'll get there quickly but for now these are the three steps that i'm going to do the syllables, the, this game of putting words together by syllable, and, and then the little booklets uh, that I think she'll be able to read at this point in time. So I hope you find that helpful and yeah, we'll be in touch. Thanks for tuning in, bye. So this is one of the resources I got for my daughter, but also I'll be using it in speech therapy as well. So it was a good investment for me. Um, and so it comes like this and I'll link it below. So it has these strips and it comes with four of them. And first the child has to pick out a word. They have to name it. So this is bate. Then they have to construct it with these chips and then they have to write it down. And you could even add onto it, like draw it if they're really into drawing. So then they would go to the ba, ba, and then t, 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 t. And then find te, and then bate and then write it down with a dry erase marker which i don't think it comes with one so you would have to provide your own which we have some in here so i wanted to show you i think she's gonna love this but i think she's gonna outgrow it really quickly um and so we'll move on to reading the little books i'm about to show you so these are the little books and I'll link them below. They're actually made by a speech language pathologist um, in Mexico and they're used primarily for articulation of specific phonemes. So this one focuses on the s sound. So they're not designed for reading or at a reading level or with teaching to read in mind. But I think that once we get through the th first two steps that I just talked about, I think this would be a good challenge for her. So I'm going to laminate them and bind them. Um, so it goes, Sami es un oso. Hoy salió el sol. Sami saluda al sol. Sami y Susi van a casa. Su mamá pone la mesa. And so on and so forth. There is 20 pages. And so I'm going to have her read these to her little brothers who would enjoy um, hearing them, hearing the story, but also benefit from the um, auditory input of some of the speech sounds they haven't developed yet.